electric trains for Christmas? You mean, did Santa Claus get you electric trains? Come on, Dad. His last card said to my son from Santa Claus. <laughs> Give me one clue, please. You're wasting your time, Robert. Old Scrooge never gives clues. Okay, one clue. Hey, wait a second. You never gave me a clue when I was a kid. Times change. <laughs> What's the clue? It's not a baby brother. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Is my gift animal or mineral? You left out vegetable. If it's vegetable, I don't want it. <laughs> Any chance it's a puppy? Puppies make great gifts for children. Puppies also make other gifts that aren't so great. <laughs> that means you can forget about the pony, too. <laughs> You're wasting your time, little buddy. My lips are sealed. Not only are they sealed, but they're glued and stapled. It would take dynamite to open them. Hey, sis. Your mother happens to be dynamite. <laughs> Picnics in the park, kids in the car. Sunday's family day, get away. We're family, togetherness, and it's so good to know that we still count on us. Oh, 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 oh. We're family, we're made up of the lasting kind. So hard to find. We got us when the Junior, you drove right by me. You saw me and you didn't pick me up. Is that true, Junior? My mind was on other things. Those other things belong to Jackie Anderson. <laughs> We were having an intimate conversation. Are you kidding? That bimbo can barely say her name. <laughs> well, when you look like Jackie, you don't have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you look like Jackie, you don't have to talk. <laughs> you know what's all the commotion? What's all the commotion? I have a jerk for a brother. Don't look at me. <laughs> Junior, when you're using the family car, the key word to remember is family. There are other key words, too, such as allowance, grounded, and hospitalized. <laughs> All right, family car. I got it. Mom, did I tell you what happened this morning? You know, Anita, the girl I always talk about, possibly the coolest kid in school, maybe ever. Yeah, what about her? <laughs> Well, she and Marie Kaczynski, as in prom queen Kaczynski, asked me to come to their intimate, exclusive party Tuesday night. If I'm in with them, I'm in. Tuesday night is Christmas Eve, Lauren. I know. I'm going to be here for dinner. I wanted to go over there later. What about our spending Christmas Eve together? I'll be here for a while. Yeah, and I don't have to be anywhere until 8. What do you mean? Well, Ziggy and the Jesters are playing in the club, and they asked me to jam with them. Hear ye, hear ye. Family rules number eight and nine. Rule number eight. All members of this family shall spend Christmas Eve and all of Christmas Eve with the family unless they have an acceptable excuse. What's rule number nine? There are no acceptable excuses. <laughs> wait, wait. I'll be here all Christmas Day. Me too. You heard your father? Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. I have no plans, Dad. Thank you, little buddy. Now, about my present, are we talking batteries? <laughs> hey, great, it looks terrific. Oh, nice plant. Yeah, but it needs rooting. Rock, rock, cool plant. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Beebs. Morning, guys. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? I can't complain. 
On second thought, yes, I can, and I will. Would you believe that Junior and Lauren plan to spend Christmas Eve with their friends? I've been through it, old man. Your little birdies are getting restless in the nests. What are you talking about, birds? For? He's got problems with his kids. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't thinking. What's the problem? So they won't be there. They're gonna be there, all right. They're gonna be there. My father always said Christmas Eve was the time when the whole family should get together and enjoy each other's company, whether they liked it or not. <laughs> My father always said, anybody comes ho-hoing down that chimney, you shoot them. So you're you're going to spend the entire evening with kids who feel like prisoners? That should really be fun. Ron's right. You can't force people to be happy. We once forced Ellen to go with us on a trip to Mount Rushmore. Teddy Roosevelt looked like he was having a better time. <laughs> exactly what is it you're trying to say? What I'm trying to say, Charlie, is you've got to hold tight with open arms. Give them a choice, and they will definitely decide to stay. It's not their decision. They're staying. You guys are coming, right? Oh, yeah, I'm bringing yeah, Mother yeah, Lake. Yeah, yeah. At least there'll be somebody there who wants to be there. You mean even little Robert has plans? Well, oh, not this year, but I see that coming, too. Robert doesn't believe in Santa Claus anymore. Ah, uh, that's not right. I mean, it's important for children to believe in Santa. Why did you stop believing in him? Oh, I never did. I mean, even if you don't believe he's real, it's important to believe in him as a symbol of generosity and dreams and hope. That's beautiful, Beeps. Oh, thanks. Maybe I should wear it more often. <laughs> I finally get the chance to be with the coolest kids in school. And mom and dad tell me I can't because I have to spend the whole night with them, even though I'll see them all that day and probably every night after that for the rest of my life. <laughs> How do you talk without breathing? <laughs> Same way you talk without thinking. <laughs> It's a four-pound something, unless it's two, two-pound something. <laughs> you think it's a microscope? If it is, it was. <laughs> what if it's four, one-pound something? <laughs> what woman spends all of Christmas Eve with her parents? They wouldn't give me a toaster oven, would they? <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Joel, I want to talk to you. Whatever happened to, welcome home, honey. How are things at the office? <laughs> OK. Welcome home, honey. How are things at the office? <laughs> Charlie, I thought about it, and I don't think we should force the kids to stay home. It's funny. The guys at the office said the same thing. What'd you say to them? Same thing I'm saying to you. They're staying. Charlie, I'm sure if they think about it, they'll realize what's right. You've changed your mind, huh? I don't understand. Well, I don't like the idea of spending Christmas Eve with unhappy kids. I mean, I love them and I want them to be here. But if they don't want to be here, I don't want to force them to be somewhere they don't want to be. I don't want to be any place where people are there just because they have to be there. Well, that clears it up for me. <laughs> Twelve inches wide. 12 inches high, 12 inches long. What's that? A cube. That's not a very personal gift. May I have the attention of all the young inhabitants of this humble dwelling? What's that mean? Another rule. Lauren and Junior. What about me? This rule doesn't concern you, baby. Your mother and I have talked this over, and we've decided that it's not fair for us to force you ungrateful. Charlie! <laughs> oh, I think I'll go feed my fish. It's not fair for me to ask you to stay home if you don't want to be here. I mean, you're both old enough to make a decision like this on your own. Right? 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 <laughs> so you can decide. But before you do, let me bring a few things to your attention. First, if it wasn't for this beautiful lady here and myself, 
you wouldn't even be here. I'd be here talking to the furniture. No way. Wait a second, Dad. That's okay. I understand. It may not be a big deal to you, but we two people who are going to be here tomorrow night are the people who gave you life. And one other thing. If you decide to go, we're going to respect it. And we won't be angry. Our decision? Really? Really? So? Are you going out with your friends, or are you going to stay here with your loving family? <laughs> friends. friends. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should repeat the question. With boughs of holly. Now, Dad, you sing the fa la 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 part. Fa la 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 la. I've heard better. What's the next line? Who cares? I think I'll go feed my fish again. You know, honey, this really isn't fair to Robert. Why not? He'll probably run out on us next year. <laughs> Besides, it serves him right for not believing in Santa Claus. Well, we did agree they could have a choice. Now, let's not let them spoil our holiday, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's terrible. Hey, I gotta tell you, you guys are beautiful. I mean, saying you wouldn't get mad and keeping your word and understanding that our friends are really important to us? I'm glad you realized you were wrong. <clears throat> <laughs> To be jolly, fa la 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 la. <laughs> After tonight, I'm gonna be so popular, I'll need my own area code. <laughs> Thanks for being so good about this. Hey, Chrissy, it's me. Guess where I'm going tonight? Would you believe Anita's little party? Well, believe it, girl, because it's true. No, they don't mind. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, when you get to this, you might need my help in putting... Hold on there, Junior Grinch. <laughs> this is a Christmas Eve tree, and it's to be decorated by the family members who care enough to be present on Christmas Eve as a family. Did I mention as a family? Excuse me, fish. <laughs> You can become a chef. <laughs> oh, thank you, Robert. That was the best roast beef I ever tasted. It was ham. <laughs> well, you're still the teacher. Is there any chance of getting a piece of that pie for dessert? None. <laughs> it's for later, honey. It's for the people who are going to be here later. It's food to be consumed on the premises. <laughs> Since we always open one present on Christmas Eve, and Junior and I are going out later, can we open ours now? Yeah. Oh, come on, honey. We can't break the family tradition. They did. Please, Dad. Not for me. For them. OK, little buddy. Yeah! Okay. Thanks. Now, honey, we did promise we weren't going to be angry at them. I'm not mad at them. I'm mad at us for having them. Beeper! 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 Robert, would you like to go first? Whatever you say. <laughs> this one. Let's see what Santa Claus bought you. I know how big it is and how heavy it is, and it doesn't make noise no matter how hard you shake it. It's a good thing we didn't get him a hamster. <laughs> for you, and that's for you over there, Junior. Nice going, Santa. <laughs> Here's one of your gifts. I'll give you a hint. It's not a car. <laughs> I hope it's true what they say. Good things come in small packages. And here's yours for me. All right. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Oh, well, great. Thanks. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh, Charlie, look, you guys. Ooh, Mom. <laughs> we saw it in the window of an antique store in Lake Geneva. But the store was closed. I got it the next morning when I told you I was going for a walk. I should have known you wouldn't go for a walk. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> 
A slide projector. What are these? Well, I had all our old favorite photos transferred to slides. This is terrific. Can we see them now? Sure. You two can watch also if you have time. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> Senior. Yeah, can't you tell? He still wears that same tie to work. <laughs> Just kidding, Dad. Boy, am I cute there. <laughs> no, no, that's me. You're right. If that was me, I'd be cuter. <laughs> what happened to your arm? Forget about his arm. What happened to his hair? <laughs> This is Lauren at nine, doing what she does best. Uh -huh. Here's Lauren at ten. Same phone call. That's me! That's me! Yeah, that's the day we bought you. How come I ain't in a box? Because you kept climbing out of the bag. <laughs> Been kind to you. <laughs> well, you know something, Lauren? I look marvelous. Hey. Hey, I'll get it. Now, don't show any more until I get back, all right? Hi. Oh, 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 it's the coils. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jim. You know you? the kids? Hey, 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 hey. Merry Christmas. Merry okay. Christmas, hey, David. You know what? Right yeah. yeah. huh? yeah. 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 So, you two guys are watching yeah. together. Yeah. 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 Christmas. How you doing? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Diana. Okay. Merry yeah, Christmas, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. We brought you guys a little something. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There you go. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. Oh, hey, if I'd have known, I, I could have brought my slides of our trip to South Dakota. Honey, nobody wants to take a nap on Christmas Eve. <laughs> this was a gift from Diana. Everybody have a seat. We're going to watch some slides. Oh, great. Right. Junior, get the lights. Get the lights, will you, Junior? Okay. <laughs> Frankie, sit up straight. Hey, Dad, I didn't know you were a bus driver. <laughs> Looks more like a prison guard. That's me in my Air Force uniform. <laughs> well, whatever you're doing, it looks like you're having a real good time. <laughs> Do you believe that before Diana started dating me, she used to date plants? <laughs> Diana, is that really you? No. <laughs> Next slide, please. Oh, yeah, that was the year we lost every game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and our uniforms. <laughs> and the ball. Yeah, but did we have fun? No. Christmas. Come on in. Yeah, Christmas. Hi. 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 Excuse me, everyone. Uh, this is Mother. Hello. Yes. We, uh, we just got back from the Nutcracker. I want to tell you, it was terrific. Fantastic. Incredible. Monumental. Oh, knock it off, Sandler. <laughs> I'll get it. Ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas. do this. Well, I made a special start because I heard that there was a little boy here who didn't believe in me. Robert, I believe this is for you. Wow, well, Merry <laughs> Christmas, children. Is this your idea? No, Santa Claus came to visit you on his own. Don't you think that Santa sounds a little like Mr. Bieberman from your office? <laughs> You children have been good boys and girls. Well, maybe, maybe just a little bit. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> oh, hi, Santa Claus! Oh, hi, Robert! Why, Santa? How's it on my neck? <laughs> well, Santa Claus knows everyone's name, and... 
He knows when you've been sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. So, how Mrs. Claus? I'll get it. Hey, Mark, come on in, buddy. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Richmond. Good evening, Mark. Hi, Mark. How are you? All right. So, uh, we're here to party? Well, you know, I think I'll, uh, I'll just pass on tonight. Oh, man, are you crazy? I mean, this is the, the hottest club in town, man. I know. Maybe another time, all right? Later. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You know, folks, maybe the whole family should be together on Christmas Eve. You know, the whole family, together, all of us, a family in the same house. Did I mention family? <laughs> Anita? Hi, it's Lauren. Listen, I won't be able to make it tonight. Yeah, I know who'll be there. I just have something else I want to do. Yeah, you too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, come on, Mom. I love the way you sing this. Oh, would you stop? Oh, would you stop? Oh, come on. Sing it to Santa. Come on. Christmas to all. Merry Christmas, Santa. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the door's that way. Oh, my reindeer will pick me up. <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas. Sorry I'm late. I said I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 